Hello YouTube. Just working on my old 96 uh, pickup truck here again. This thing seems to have more problems I know what to do with. You know, you get one thing fixed and another one pops up. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to attempt to find some vacuum leaks, which according to all my testings, you know, says I have a vacuum leak. Um, she's running pretty rough, you know, about mid-pedal or whatever. Uh, all the data from the scan tool and everything says I have a vacuum leak, so we're going to test that through today. Now, instead of buying, you know, like an $600 to $1,000 smoke machine, what I've done is I made my own, which basically consists of a pickle jar. You see, I've, I've kind of used it. So, uh, the pickle jar lid. You got a valve stem here for your pump. $12 air pump from the old Walmart. Other side, you got your fuel line. You got a male connector for a compressor. And on the other side here is the female end for a compressor, which I just shaved the bottom part of it off. Use the old washer to make up the difference so you get a good tight seal here. Um, this end, hold on a second. This end is just a old male compressor, you know, fitting just like this one here. And that end there is going to plug into your brake booster line. Very simple to do. Now, a lot of people, I've seen variations of this or whatnot, and what they do is they'll take a jar or a paint can or whatever, and they'll stick like aluminum foil or tin foil in the bottom, what have you, with some charcoal or cardboard or whatnot to make the smoke and let it just smolder, and then they pump the smoke into the machine. Well, I figure, well, that probably generates a lot of heat, especially on this glass. You don't want it shattering or anything on you. So what I opted to use was incense sticks. I took four of the big incense sticks here, just lit them up. I figured they wouldn't generate a lot of heat. You know, as long as you got a good airflow on them, they should stay lit. Just light them on up, drop them down in there. Put your lid on it, cut your air pump on. Now, we're gonna continue this in a part two of the video and see how this works. I know you're saying, oh, that's all ghetto, country fight or whatever, but hell, I'm not paying $1,000 for something that blows smoke into a fucking motor. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. And then you take it to a mechanic for them to do the same thing and they're gonna charge you $500 to find an intake leak and then they're gonna wanna fix it and that's gonna be another however much money they're going to charge you and screw all that so we're going to test this see if it works i'll be back here in just a minute <laughs> 